But we're back again, and I am so excited today to be filming Doorcast episode 17. Somehow the people that control the interwebs haven't kicked me off yet. I love it. I'm going to be talking today about AnyChart, who's one of our great technology partners. And I'm going to be speaking with Mark Peters, who's the vice president of sales. I think he's giving away everything free just today only, or maybe not. Uh, you can clarify that, Mark. Here's Mark's contact information if you want to reach out. Feel free to screenshot this so that you could use this. In fact, you're welcome to reach out and give me your credit card information right now if you just want to buy, because um, I'm sure you're using multiple monitors. If you want to follow along as we, as we go, you can go to extensions.anychart.com and you'll be able to see their website Again, I'm imagining that like most people, you've got mul multiple monitors. Go ahead and take advantage of your time. Mark, I am so glad to have you here, buddy. Um, I, I know you're busy. Any chart is, is one that I've really loved watching all the different visuals that you do. Um, and, and I heard that you guys are so environmentally conscious. You actually have like a decomposing tree or something like that. Like, I, I don't know how a decomposing tree has to do with clicking analytics, but I love the idea, man. Yeah, it washed up along shore. So um, we uh, we have one, actually, and we think it's one of our great, our, it's one of our newest chart types for sure. And it, it, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure what a decomposing tree would look like, but. I, well, I we'll see it shortly, I'm guessing. Hope you're going to show me. And as for everything being free today and today only, that's probably not a real thing, right? No, no, we have a couple of guys who are kind to yours, and I would be wrong. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. I, you can't blame a guy for trying. No, you did a good job. Appreciate it. All righty, buddy. Thanks for letting me be here. This is um, a so first. How long, how long have you been with any chart now, man? Oh, since 07. Um, been with these guys. We were founded in 03. Um, I was fortunate enough. I had just exited another group and was looking for something to do. And wow. Any chart. So we've that, been building charts. The any chart has since 2003, like I said. They started with Flash. Um, thank you, Steve Jobs. It's no longer Flash. It goes to JavaScript, <laughs> HTML5. And um, so, and we've progressed. And nice. A few years back, we kind of got lucky and met you guys. So, dude, I, I got to tell you, I admire anybody who could be at the same company that long. That's that's a rare, <laughs> rare thing in the high tech world like this. Um, so I, I I admire that that you've been there and you obviously believe in the products and what you guys are doing. Uh, we have so. a great team. We really, really do. I so mean, that, the guys work cool. hard. They come up with new products and they they meet the client's requests is really what those guys do. Nice. And that, that is some kind of a background that you got there. Like I obviously have my data cathedral. <laughs> I'm always working on my data cathedral, buddy. That, well, that, I'm, I'm you trying must to have improve. done that like in paintbrush or something, like hand, <laughs> hand pixel image or yeah. what? It's pretty cool. So this one, actually, maybe we can show this one this today too. This is well, our new If paper. you're going to twist my arm. I, uh, there's a whole lot going on. real and like it's interactive <laughs> with click. I'm going to be all over that one. Well, I, I think you're going to like it. All right. Well, you feel free to go ahead and share your screen, buddy. All right. Well, I'm just so everybody knows, I'm going to just show a couple different chart types today. Um, and to give some perspective around it, we we started working with Click in I think 2019 was the first Click World we attended. It was the last one previous to Click World this year. By the way, Click World this year was amazing. The effort put into by your company was just phenomenal. It was an outstanding event. Um, and lots of information and great people. And so. I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, man, you guys' swag was top notch. Well, like, it, like any chart, I would swag rather be known for great charts, notch. but <laughs> swag will work too. There yeah, we go. we had a good time. Um, obviously, the event, like I said, was just amazing. So, we our first one was in Dallas, and um, we kind of got in late and. For us, the event was, uh, it was great. We still met a ton of people, but it wasn't quite as successful for us as it was this year. But again, we were just getting started with you guys. We had had a customer of yours 
ask us, they were using our JavaScript library and ask us to implement a certain chart type, which was how we got involved even with you guys to begin with, was with our Gantt charts. Um, so we're very customer focused. When they, most of our customers for years have been software companies who have embedded us as part of their solution. And so our products are very, they're very, I don't want to use malleable, but you can do a lot with them. But because of that, we have a very large library of different chart types, and we're trying to bring unique ones to Click that we think will benefit the Click customer base. We just don't want to do the same thing everybody's doing, but bring something that adds new value. No, I don't need like a spinning five-dimensional pie chart. That we, we uh, yeah, need. I don't. You know what? It's not my we favorite. Got chart we got plenty of those. Yeah, it, it's not I, where we're I, headed I, with you guys. I, I like the way you kind of frame that. That we had a customer ask us. Yeah. Um, I, I think so many times I see things online. It's like, oh, they did it just for the fun of doing it. <laughs> like there was already another hundred, but sure, why not? Right. Well, but, I, but I love the fact uh, that it was a customer asking, "Hey, I really want that particular type, and I need it inside a click." Yeah. Um, and, the and it speaks thing, volumes to their commitment to click to trying to expand usage of the environment or, you know, of your platform, which is, you know, that creates stickiness for any company. So I think I, it's a great thing to do. I love it. And being that you guys were just written in JavaScript, I'm, ama I'm imagining it was a fairly easy, uh, not not plug and play, <laughs> but a fairly easy thing. You already had the JavaScript developers. That's what we use for our open API standards. And uh, so whatever the whatever visuals you had in JavaScript, you could make into click extensions. Um, and I like the way that you said un unique ones. So let's let's go ahead and take, let's a, take a look at some of them. OK, um, the first one we may as well start with is the uh, I need Gantt. to see that decomposing tree, man. Oh, you want that oh, one on a Gantt chart? But if you're going to show me a Gantt chart, we'll stay at the Gantt chart. Well, we were talking about how we got even involved with you guys, so we may as well start with the Decon or the Gantt chart. Okay. Um, this is the one with one of um, a large company in the U.S. who asked us to bring Gantt in. This is an example of a multi-view of the same chart or same data set. Um, in this case, this is an organizational overview. And in, in this okay. company, they broke it down into various sectors, right? Business right. development, finance. And this is more an executive view. They could add information into their tool tip that might include um, what is the budget on this one? Are we over budget? If we don't meet these deadlines, are there cost overruns? All that additional um, data is available. And obviously it's in click. And here we can add it in and show it as well. So this, if you're an executive, you don't need the details, but you're looking for an overview. Right, sure. Yeah. So then, you know, you break it down another level. Let's go down to the division. And here we start taking a look at, okay, do we have projects that um, are past due? In this case, they wanted to run red, yellow, blue, okay. or green, excuse me, that shows projects on time that are missing, you know. And again, we're just incorporating all the data that Click's giving us and adding in some functionality, some conditional formatting, and things of that nature. Okay, yeah. Um, in this case, they're doing risk impact analysis. There's an over, an overdue screen, as well as projects that have been completed. And that's and great. I'm imagining addition. that all of this is interactive, so as you make any other selections within Click. Yes, absolutely. It just it functions just the same way as everything. Nice. I think what's neat is we're in talks now and we have, this has been our number one selling chart type, by the way, inside in the click customer base. Um, I, I wouldn't doubt it. It's the, the number of seats we have sold is tremendous. It, it really is. And to see some of the use cases is outstanding. So we're actually in the process. We're starting to get some new feedback saying, hey, we would like to be able to adjust dates. And I'm not a big fan of modifying data. That's, it just seems to me to be a real odd thing to do. However, a project may not, even if you have a project, you know, the start date of a particular item or task right. may get pushed. And sure. so we're sure. talking with some folks. We partnered with another couple of groups who are also click 
um, partners and tried to work with them so that we can integrate their products, including some write back functionality and um, some printing capabilities for some of the newer stuff. But we're also working on maybe being able to do drag and drop. Yeah. We could then just slide this over and we don't even have to manually enter the dates. So That's, I, I tell you, Mark, I, I'm a big fan of goal setting. I, I'm yeah. all about setting goals and having milestones. But logically, once you know that can't be accomplished, you have already in your mind, you set a new goal. And and I love the idea that, yes, we can see if it's on time, if it's late. Yeah. But and, and, we need to make an adjustment, and I'm assuming that there's going to be the right security roles of who's allowed absolutely. to take that project start date from April to June saying, hey, look, realistically, we've now agreed this is going to be the right thing. Um, and, they and, need- and we actually leave that to the customer and to click right. to yep. inherit those you know, restrictions or yep. their properties and allow them to either have access or not have access. I love uh, it. We don't try to determine those rules. That's not our oh. functionality. No. And yeah. I think even where you're at, a great point is we also have the ability to add in. So if you have a, if you do have a start date and you want to change it or you don't want to change it, you want to show the actual, you can always set up an actual as well. So you can have the start date, the projected and an actual. Yeah, And then you can have all of these bars running simultaneously. So it just all depends. Every customer wants to do it different. And awesome. that's what we try to do. And you guys have the data. So for us, it's just a matter of just. We do data. have the data. You've got the data, baby. Um, and of course, you can always drive it down. Oh, I got to select somebody. Assign it. Me. There we go. I always forget that. Part. And of course, it drives down to the individual. Yep. You know, who they are, where they are, the person in charge. There's all kinds of information you can display. Um, it, it's that's just three different views of looking at a Gantt chart. Yep. So very cool. Now, let's see what was decomposing on the beach. Yeah, I want to see this decomposing tree. So this one, you know, this is another use case where. Is about a year ago, a little over a year ago, we had a very large, um, one of your top three, I believe, consulting firms, um, worldwide actually, came to us and asked us on behalf of one of your customers to, if we could do this. And the reason for it was they were running Power BI and you guys side by side, and they really wanted to move that data and keep it in click and move mm-hmm. it to click, which, you know, separates again and gives your guys a better footprint in there, your team, as well as, you know, it, it eliminates another silo of data that's often something else. Mm-hmm. So we actually met with them over several weeks, we came back to them and said, yeah, we don't have it. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that was kind of disappointing. And so um, anyway, our guys went away and then Last fall, they came to me in November and said, hey, we built this. Can you go get a beta tester? And I'm like, well, you could have told me you were building it. I could have at least prepped some stuff ahead of time. But our guys did it. And um, we had several customers who were able to who who were willing to test it and play with it and give us feedback. And so we launched this chart type in January of this year. Nice. Um, we gave a updated version with some performance improvements right before Click World. And this attracted so much attention at the event in Vegas. I mean, it was it was amazing. It really was. Um, we've taken, we've had five different customers already on board the product, um, yes. put it in play. And I, I know, and that was directly from the conference. And I know we have another uh, uh, quite a few more in the pipeline. So it's pretty, it's been a great chart type. But the reason for it being cool, in my opinion, it's this chart type is primarily used for root cause analysis. Yep. Where, what, and it allows for true ad hoc reporting. And then I can drive to the information I need to help me. And some of the people, some of the use cases, I had some guys who, this is, I show sales because I know sales. I, I don't know, you know, pharma stuff. However, I had some guys go, you know, if we could do this, but 
but I want to be able to drive into it instead of it. Uh, I guess I got to go up and show you a little more first. So the well, point listen, before before you show much more, I I want to I want to come clean. Yeah, I'm kind of playing with everybody when I keep saying a decomposing tree. <laughs> I have seen this and I absolutely love it. I demoed it at Click World um, because I really believe in it. I I was always a fan of the sand key because I, I'm all about you have to know the story and the relationship between multiple dimensions. And the sand key is okay. absolutely stunningly beautiful visually if I got like two or three things. Over two or three things, I start losing people with a data literacy level because they don't want to interact with the chart. What I love about this is it's really what composes each thing farther. And so you've deconstructed what composed sales, uh, what made up the in-store sales, what made up the regions uh, for each, each salesperson. And I can get to a lot of complex data and relationships that way. Um, and the fact that you make it so easy visually, I can tell there's a blue line. I know I'm looking at in-store. Um, I'm assu assuming you're going to turn around and click on online or distributor here. And well, show so that the composition of that all goes right with it. So it's really, I think, I like that you brought up Sankey because as you can even see in this one, if we're running sales, in this case, it said, what are my channels? Um, that's what this this section is, channels. Um, it shows in store, but it shows this is the full blue bar. That means it's the largest sector yep. of sales for right. these guys. And the bars diminish, much like a Sankey does. Yep. And you could do this with negative values and have inverted colors. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. But the great part about it is you can drill down into the data however you want. Um, yep. And if we just change it, move it up. Oh, I got to get rid of sales channel. Um, we can then dive into different aspects of it and look at who's that and say, okay. now what channel do I want? We know they're in the West. Okay. I can also reorder this. I could close all these up and say, I want to look at sales. I want to look at them by regions and start that right here. Yep. And then go to here. Uh, yeah. but, but you I would, think I think where everybody could server. see, if and I had know. bars on a sand key for all that, it would be overwhelming. You, you'd just be lost. Oh, you'd be gone. Yeah, I think in this example, it's really hard for me to get to that one. I wanted to show you, but we'll see. Yeah, this is, you're running our instance, but uh, let's see if I can get there. I think now, I when you say you're running your instance, I want everybody to notice in the URL there on Mark's screen, he is just going to pe.click.com. That's for partner engineering. So it's pe.click.com. And any of you at home watching this would be able to go there and work anonymously and go to the any chart stream and actually have hands on any of these extensions in these apps. You won't and be really edit anything, but you could play with them and explore them to make sure and see which things are right for you and look at different use cases. And just so everybody knows, anything you see today, you can actually come to our site and download it directly. Um, so we'll get you some, ex it's an extensions, it's a URL that Dalton showed earlier, and then just look for the download button and you can get a free trial download 30 days if you need more See, time. it is free for today. It is free for today. Ah, if, ah. if you want, if you need uh, extra time or if you're working in an offline environment, let us know. We yeah. have the ability to help you work in an offline environment. It's, that's not an issue. Cool. Um, as a matter of fact, all of our Click customers, I would say all but maybe two, work in that type of environment. So um, please, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, but going back to this, okay. I think the amazing thing is I can get rid of this whole chart and say, now I want to start at sales. And now say, okay, what do I really want to look at first? I want to look wow. at my region. Wow. You know now I want to go to, that's my West, but what do I care? Well, let's look at what the uh, sales team, I don't know, what's their best sales channel? Wow. And I can see their sales channels. 
And so yeah, it helps you break really down. Really easy to play with those dimensions there. It's and you can add in as many dimensions as you want. The, the limitations beautiful. come into how it scrolls, but yeah. we have scrolling figured out for everybody. Um, we have various page width views. There's there's some great functionality in this chart. That is that yeah. is that is really awesome because it provides for even users that, that are, aren't professional users wouldn't be able to edit pages. They can control their own destiny with that. You're giving them self service access to the way they want to see what composes what composes what composed of what that's exactly it i mean everybody looks at data differently if if i'm running sales i want to look at the top line and i want to look at where my sales are weak where they're not i don't but if i'm a regional person i don't need that i need to see what's being sold in my region and how it's doing and maybe compared to another region right absolutely everybody needs data different in my opinion that's they they, they do and i like that self service nature of this so one guy from a pharma guy says, you know what? I want to look at diseases. And then he had diseases here. And then he says, okay, chronic or acute. Yep. I'm like, I would have never thought that. But I mean, you know, everybody drives into whatever their data set is differently. Mm -hmm. And that's really why I love, I love this chart. This chart's really cool. Yeah. All right, cool. let's go. Show me another and cool chart type, man. This I'm going to show you one more because I can't imagine I can entertain anybody. Oops, log in. I can entertain anybody that um, long. So let's go here. Again, we have all our demos on our site as well. So yeah. you feel free to come over and show us or come ask or look on our site. And you'll be able to find them and you can click on live view. Um, it, it's pretty fun. So we had a, Hey, that we, looks like just like the thing behind your head. It is. This is the best one. Or this is my new, this is, I just love the use case. So I got a call last January and this customer, we had never met with them before. Uh, they go, we do you have an organizational chart? And I'm like, no, we don't do org charts. It's just not what we do. Mm. And they go, no, no, we, we want to use one of your organized, organizational charts. And I'm like, no, I don't have one. And we discuss this for a while. And they go, well, we want to use Sunburst. And I'm like, really? And I, at first, it did not click with me. However, um, what they did is so cool. And what our guys did is actually pretty cool as well. So if you, this is the CEO sitting in the center. Yep. What they also attach, and we don't have, we don't, obviously, we don't have that information showing you, but where it says CEO on the screen, it also attaches in their metadata shows how many employees are actually under his charge. What is the valuation of all the assets? What is over here? What is there? And they, they, and as they decide to break down into those various regions or who's in yep. charge, the divisions, it starts to spin out and it shows yeah. that same type of information. And you see all these little guys down here, right? I don't want to call them the little people because that's just wrong in an org chart. However, it's kind of funny. But what we did is we allowed for even small individuals, we were able to group them up and still be able to show them inside this chart. Because nice. if you're talking about one person, this is a 15,000 person company. Yeah. So it, obviously we can't see individuals in these little dots, but it gives you to notice that they're there. Yeah. So you have the ability to go up, go back down, color code um, by and division. Can, I, and I think the other thing, if you jump back out of there. Yeah. What, what I'm able to see there is that we've got some people that are under chief operations officer have like six or seven layers. Mm -hmm. management and there's a couple of groups or divisions or whatever's under them that, that only have three or four yes um, so you could you could understand here and the one in the upper right there's got like a million levels of reporting oh. <laughs> that's got that's got to be right like you yeah. can you can grasp the story i was going to say it had to be human resources by, or somebody by seeing that, <laughs> right of you know, you, you can get a story, which is what I like about data visualization, um, pretty quickly. Not much management structure, a lot, a lot of levels of management structure. 
it, it this is what they want what they did with this chart type i think it's just cool i i really it's one of my favorite um because this was never a favorite chart type for me <laughs> Probably i like because- the bullseye one the bullseye one is really cool but the bullseye one always re i always think of a far side um cartoon that i saw that had in the bullseye was, you know, it was two elk standing on their hind legs and they're talking, drinking a cup of coffee. And it's this next to a tree and the tree has a sign on it says um, hunting season open today. And the one elk looks at the other elk and he's got a big bullseye right on his chest. And he some goes, hell of a birthmark, Hal. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Well, the, but the bullseye chart, I think for people um, who haven't seen one before, um, is super nice. And I had a I had a customer I was working with a few years back, and they wanted to be able to visualize for high level. This was in uh, Department of Defense, so think military operation levels. They wanted senior commanders to know whether they were on target for things. Um, and so it w- it was a nice chart for being able to visually depict three of our four objectives are on target. We've got one objective that isn't on target. Yep. Right. So yeah. as opposed to seeing, you could look in a Gantt chart or something like that. Um, but it was. I, really, I think that's a better use case. It, it hit the it hit the story of for these people for their data literacy level that visualization solved a problem and you could show it fairly small. Yeah. Um, so that, I that, like that use. Yeah. And I think, I think for any chart that that's always the case, right? We, this isn't, it's not like wooden nails where a hammer can solve every problem, right? I'll just beat, I'll beat that chart type into compliance. Yeah, no, we, that's, I agree. I mean, it, it's one of the reasons I actually, I guess I'm still here is there are cool use cases and I like seeing that happen. You know, when we worked with all these software companies, they're building new solutions that, you know, then they take to market and they've embedded us in it. And you look at it and go, all right, that's cool. We're over in that business. But with you guys, it's a whole new end user type of game. Mm -hmm. And that for that, I think is kind of exciting. It's fun. So we're very happy to be partnered with you guys. Um, and that's just a couple of chart types that we've added to your group. Cool. And you actually have over 30 in total. The, the- we have hundreds of chart types. <laughs> um, so far, we have implemented, um, we've implemented quite a few. We are refocusing some of them, uh, but we're just as I said, trying to bring value to the, to the uh, community. We don't want to do, we're not just here to make it look pretty. That's not what we want to do. You guys make great charts. You guys have done everything you need to do. You have all the data components. You're, you know, your new venture with Talon. I don't know how to phrase it. I don't know if it's a venture acquisition or, um, I don't read press releases, but you guys <laughs> seem to be growing and expanding rapidly into all aspects of data. So it, it was an acquisition, um, and it, it's more like a merger in terms of what we're doing because they do some very unique things um, yeah. that, that are very beneficial for customers, and they were all about data governance and data quality. And their customers need to be able to visualize the data at at the other end of it, right? That's why they're moving the data. Um, So super, super great relationship as to um, what what things are going to be done combined. So looking forward. Well, I was at the event in D.C. um, Mm -hmm. that you guys just had a couple weeks back, about a month ago maybe. And Mr. Little um, got up and spoke with Mike Capone and... They, it was pretty impressive what you guys are doing up in that area as well. So, yeah, yeah. Super, and that's super right. Cool. So I did speak with the talent folks at that, and they were very, very nice. Good. If you could stop sharing your screen, we can go ahead and just wrap yeah, up. We'll, we'll be much larger Perfect. size for everybody then. 
Perfect. That, that way they can see us better. Could see the casino. Oh no, they don't need to see me. <laughs> can see the sunburst. <laughs> they will find out I have no social media skills. So cool. So they can you can go to extensions.anychart.com. Um, as Mark mentioned, you guys have JavaScript things that have been written for other visualizations. If they look at your site and they find one of those and say, man, that's not in click yet. We want to put it in click. They should reach out to you. They should. Um, because like the decomp decomposing tree. That's right. You guys, well, your, your development team is responsive to what the customer is looking for. And we uh, are always responsive to that. We want to build things that people actually want to use. Right. Yeah. That's they, they shouldn't come to you asking for another line chart. <laughs> right. Like, you know, well, we, you're not, you're I, I trying to do line we, charts. We did do a combo chart and we got a lot of funny looks at ClickWorld. But the reason we did it is we've added unlimited dimensions. That That's the plan. Yeah. And so currently there's a, just a couple yeah. available from my understanding. And yep. again, I'm not the dev guy, but that's what they tell me. And nice. we can do int. So nice. Yeah. So that that's fantastic. And and obviously by by the the resolution you see there, even in just in the drawing behind your head, right? Like, and of course it's you're not seeing it. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's that that is deep, right? Like you're showing lots and lots and lots of data. Yeah. Um and, and you it, could try it, to show something like that in a decomposing tree. But you're going to lose all of the other storylines and lose the relationship um, between why why was I over here? Why was I over there? Right? Why did why did I try to figure out why I've got 18 layers of management in that upper quadrant? Um, so why did I, I go I, down I, this rabbit hole? Yeah, <laughs> um, and and I I would sure hope that they do like a combination of both. Well, we have some demos that show uh, multiple chart types. Uh -huh. See, I, I knew it. I didn't I mention knew that, it. but we do. <laughs> right? That's because they're, visualizing the whole story inv involves being able to visualize the whole story. Oh, yeah. You can say, yeah, we visualized the whole story on 18 different sheets and 45 different line charts. Yeah. Like, no, just stop. That's yeah, not. Put it all together. <laughs> right? Like, no. Make it all interactive and make it yeah. all work. So that's fun. That's our story, Dalton. I can't thank you enough for today. Dude, my pleasure. Always a pleasure talking to you. Um, it, it, I believe in what you guys are doing. I, I'm a big fan. Um, and, I, and I'm a fan of people who really who are doing what they do because they love what they do. And, and, they're, and, and you can see it by their commitment. Anytime I see people online that every six months they're at a different company and they're telling me this is the greatest product since sliced bread, I don't really necessarily believe those types of people because that doesn't make sense to me. You know what? I can't. I, I've just been very lucky and I understand everybody's situation is different. Um, for me, just been fortunate. Cool. Good guys. Um, there's a whole lot of stories that go behind this longevity as well. So Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, I sure appreciate your time for everybody out there watching uh, Dorkcast episode 17. Hope that this was beneficial for you. Hope you saw some really cool different ways to visualize data. Um, definitely go out there and hit extensions.anychart.com. And as always, I hope that you have such a great day.